Hey guys, so a while ago I released a video about these. These are some extension tubes that you can use to transform any old lens, such as the kit lens, into a macro lens. Recently I came across this, which is what's called a diopter. Basically, it's a magnifying glass for the front of your lens. So let's take a look at it up close. All right, so here are the two things that I am comparing. So. You guys have probably seen this before on my channel. This is a tube extension. Now this one is made by Makey. They come in a variety of uh, different designs with different manufacturers. You mount these on the back like that and they place a space between your sensor and the lens that you're using and that is how you're getting more macro shots. Obviously you can use both of them as I was showing you earlier. The other route you can take is by using this converter uh, or a diopter. And this one is made by Optica. Essentially what this is, is a magnifying glass. And what you do is it comes with a couple of these adapters so you can use them on various lenses. So I'm gonna use this one. I will screw this to the adapter and then what you do is you take your kit lens and you simply screw the magnifying glass onto the front so that is how you get macro shots with an adapter like this and here they are together so you can see the extensions on this side and the diopter on this side. So I shot a bunch of sample photos using this diopter and using the extension tubes, and I really thought that there was gonna be a significant or even noticeable difference, but I was wrong. Uh, there really isn't any difference whatsoever because you're using the exact same lens. Um, so here are some samples, but like I said, you really can't tell them apart using one or the other. So here's a better way of visualizing what you get with either the extension tubes or the diopter. Here is a shot with just the kit lens. Now this is a shot of a coin that I'm holding with my hand. Pay close attention to the distance. Now using just the 10 millimeter extension. Now using just the diopter. Now using both the 10 millimeter and the 16 millimeter extension. And finally, you can, believe it or not, use both the diopter, magnifying glass, and the extensions, and that'll get you this. After all of my testing, I figured out that there are four reasons, four, why I prefer using the extension tubes over something like this adapter. Number one, most extension tubes are sold in pairs, and so you have greater variety so you can use a 16 millimeter a 10 millimeter or both of them together so that means you have essentially three focal lengths in one with the diopter you only have one focal length number two because you are using extension tubes and these are connecting to the base of your camera you can use any e-mount lens with these extension tubes it doesn't matter what the front filter thread is Whereas with the diopter, you have to use the included adapters to make sure that it fits on the front of whatever lens that you're using. And if you're switching from a kit lens to a larger lens, they may not even include the adapter that you need. Number three, now in my testing, the diopter and the extension tubes performed about the same. Now in theory, the diopter is a worse route to take because you are adding another glass lens element to your lens. So that is, further preventing the flow of light. So you lose maybe a small percentage of light that actually hits the center by the end of it. Whereas with an extension tube, you're not adding any glass to your lens. So all that you're doing is extending how far the lens sits in relation to the sensor. And number four is the price. The diopter that I purchased here is about $25. Extension tubes can be purchased from a variety of manufacturers in a variety of finishes. These ones are plastic, which I like. Uh, they have metal ones as well, but these are $15, $16 shipped to your door. So uh, we're looking at a $10 savings for a product that does essentially the exact same thing. Now you can use both of these. If you wanted to, you can purchase the extension tubes mount your lens onto the extension tube and then stick on 
the diopter on the very end and you get a super macro shot with something like this, but you do have to spend a little bit more on both products. So that is going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and learned something. I will post links to both the extension tubes and the diopter down below if you guys are interested in reading more about it or purchasing them. As always, thank you guys for watching. Thanks for all the likes and all the comments and all the support, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.